how to configure custom domain for your SGTM container. Um, custom domain is uh, one of the uh, key features that we highly suggest to configure for your SGTM container. Uh, this is very important because custom domain allows you to set first party cookies. And uh, and it means that you will have the ability to prolong cookie lifetime. As you probably already know that uh, most browsers, uh, for example, Safari, Firefox, th they limit the lifetime of third party cookies. And in some cases, they limit the lifetime of first party cookies. Uh, by the end of 2024, uh, Chrome will also phase out of using third-party cookies. So uh, setting up a custom domain and um, ability to prolong the lifetime of your cookies is extremely important. Um, how should you set up a custom domain? Um, there are three uh, main ways on how you can configure a custom domain. So let's start with the default option, uh, this one. So this one is the easiest uh, to set up because it's pre-configured for you uh, if you set up account on Stape. But uh, as you can see here in the example, uh, this custom domain is hosted on the Stape IO uh, domain. It means that um, the uh, domain that you will use for your tagging server for SGTM container won't be hosted on under your main website domain and you will lose the ability to set first party codes. Uh, the next option is using a subdomain that is located within your main website domain. For example, um, the uh, domain can look like sgtm.example.com. Um, it was one of the most uh, popular uh, ways of setting up uh, custom domain during the last three years. Uh, but with the recent changes in the ITP, this option is not uh, optimal anymore. Why is it so? Um, the latest update of ITP, uh, which affects Safari and Firefox, uh, blocks the lifetime of first party cookies if they were uh, set from the IP that, that does not match the IP of your main website. So it means that um, the tagging server URL uh, that you configure for your SGTM container should have the same IP as your main website. But it's uh, pretty hard to achieve. Uh, to configure a custom subdomain, what you need to do is just uh, go to your uh, DNS provider and set a few records. Uh, if you decide to go with a custom subdomain, uh, we have a solution at Stape on how to prolong cookies in Safari and Firefox. So there are two ways, uh, either configure a CDN or use a cookie keeper. Uh, I will talk later about these two options, but uh, yeah, in case you want to go with the subdomain or you already configured the subdomain to prolong cookie for Safari and Firefox, you can use these two Stape features. Um, the third way of configuring custom domain is using same origin domain. This is the newest version and uh, from my opinion this is the best one to choose. Why is because it gives you the ability to prolong cookies uh, for browsers with ITP. So in case of same origin custom um, domain for your SGTM, uh, you will have the same IP of your tagged server URL and your main website. Uh, this way is the most difficult to set up because it will require you to configure a CDN or a load balancer to forward request and uh, serve them from the same IP as your website. In this video, I will show how to set up same origin domain since it's the most complicated one and uh, the optimal. Um, so let's uh, go to the uh, demonstration part. If you decide to set up same origin domain for your uh, SGTM container, then there are two main steps uh, of configuring uh, same origin domain. The first step is to set up a custom subdomain within your uh, Stape account and uh, configure DNS records for the custom subdomain and then use a, a load balancer or CDN to configure the proper routing. Uh, so let's start with the first, uh, first part, uh, configuring a custom subdomain. 
To add a custom domain to your uh, Stape container, open your SGTM container and click here Add Custom Domain. Uh, then just uh, type what type of domain you want to use. Uh, in my case it would be sgtm.stape.video. Uh, then you have an option to add CDN. So uh, we have two types of CDN. Uh, the first type of CDN is uh, Stape CDN and the second one is Own CDN. Uh, Stape CDN uh, uses Cloudflare uh, to uh, load uh, GS files like uh, GTM, GS, GTAC, GS um, from the server that is closer to your uh, website visitor. Uh, so let's say you have a a cloud server for your server Google Tag Manager container somewhere in Europe and uh, there is a visitor from the United States that uh, opens your website. If you use a Stape CDN, in this case, like we will load, uh, we will use Cloudflare uh, and we'll load uh, this JS uh, scripts faster. So it might have a positive uh, effect on your um, SEO ranking. Uh, the second type of CDN we have is own CDN. Own CDN is uh, uh, a tool that helps you to proxy your uh, tag in server URL for server Google Tag Manager container from the same IP address as your uh, main website domain. So OwnCDN is required to prolong cookie in browsers with ITPs like Safari, Firefox. Uh, but uh, since in this case, in this video, we are uh, aiming to configure same origin domain, which basically uh, serves uh, the same goal. Uh, it's uh, uh, the main benefit of using same origin domain is to prolong cookie lifetime in Safari and Firefox, and basically um, it also like uh, does it uh, by um, uh, like serving your uh, tagging server URL from the same IP address as your main website domain. So. In this case, if you are using uh, a same origin custom domain, do not select own CDN because it doesn't make sense and it uh, most likely it won't work. Uh, just uh, like the uh, best practice is to use a Stape CDN uh, with uh, same origin domain. In case you do not want to use Stape CDN, just uh, do not use any CDN, just uh, disable this checkbox. Uh, so in my case, I want to use uh, Stape CDN and that, that is why I enabled uh, a checkbox tape, uh, add CDN and uh, select tape CDN. Uh, once you configure the CDN options that you uh, want to use, you will see here um, DNS records that you need to add to your um, DNS provider. So let's proceed with adding these DNS records. So in my case, it's um, two CNAME records and I'm using Cloudflare. So I would go here in my Cloudflare admin, click uh, C name, then um, just add the subdomain and then uh, the value. Here you need to ensure that uh, uh, proxy status is uh, disabled. So click save, and the second one should be again C uh, name record. It should be load.sgtm. Uh, this record is required for state global CDN. And add uh, this target. Again, disable proxy and click save. So um, normally uh, it uh, takes like like from 30 minutes for to two hours to verify your uh, DNS records. Uh, in some cases, it might take up to 72 hours, as, but if uh, there is uh, like the status of your domain is um, it was not changed to verify within 72 hours, uh, then it means that there are some issues. Uh, so the first thing how you can debug what the issue is, is check that you added uh, DNS records accurately. Um, the tool that I'm recommend to use for checking your DNS records is basically this one. I will add the link uh, to this uh, tool in the video description. Uh, what you need to do is copy this host, uh, type here, and check uh, CNAME record. So um, the CNAME record is correct, the first one, and let's check the second CNAME record. So the second CNAME record is also correct. Um, so it means that we correctly configured uh, our DNS settings. And let me try to click verify and we will see 
if the domain status will be verified. Um, I will refresh the page. Yeah, so uh, as you can see, in my case, it took like a few minutes to verify the domain. And the correct behavior of properly configured custom domain is uh, uh, when you see this uh, status ready. Okay, so we successfully configured uh, the a custom subdomain inside the SGTM container and tape. And now we can move to the next step. And the last step is uh, configuring the same origin domain. Now we will proceed with additional configuration for um, same origin domain inside Cloudflare. Uh, basically, we would need to create a worker. So open your Cloudflare uh, or any other tools that you will use to set up a worker for your same origin domain. Then go to Workers and Pages, click Create Application, and then click uh, Create Worker. Here you need to create a worker name. Let me add the name SGTM. Then uh, click Deploy. Uh, then I would need to edit code. I have my code copied in the file. Um, I will add a link to the uh, this uh, code in the video descriptions. So what you need to add in this code. So uh, my custom domain that I configured uh, inside the Stape account is sgtm stape, uh, dot stape video. Uh, the same origin domain that I want to use would be stape dot video slash metrics. So uh, what you need to do here is uh, uh, change this parameter and this parameter to make it uh, uh, this is like uh, to, to, to make it uh, match with your custom domain and same origin. Click deploy. Uh, then open your domain and click workers road. We need to create a road here. Um, I'm adding the road that I want to use. So it should be the same as the same origin domain that you will use for your SGTM, of which is followed by this sign. So in my case, it's tape.video slash metrics. Then select, then select worker that was created on the previous step. Click uh, save. That's it. We created uh, a same origin domain for your SGTM container. If you want to check if this domain works correctly, what you need to do is type uh, your domain. So it's uh, stable.video slash metrics slash healthy. In case you see the result awk, it means that you've successfully configured your SGTM uh, domain. If you have any other statuses, then it means that something is wrong and need, you need to check either uh, the first step is wrong. Basically, you did not add the proper DNS records to verify the custom subdomain or something is not correct with the worker that you've created. Okay, so that's uh, done. And the last step that we have is to add this custom domain to your SGTM container settings. Go to admin, then click container settings, and then here add URL and click save. Um, that's it. We've successfully configured same origin domain for your SGTM container.